Very good. He had one giant blunder. It was a big blunder. It's a big one. <sighs> yeah. I got you. That'll kind of the you. worst blunder almost. The worst <laughs> blunder you can make. It's the worst. It involves every bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Guns, kids, lies. But didn't he take it back before they he did, but, got him? But the problem is, you know, those people sued him and won $965 million. That's yeah, a lot of money. God and dang. in Connecticut, you, you like in, he won a, a lot. They won a large settlement in Texas, but in Texas, it's capped. So I think it's capped at like seven hundred and something thousand dollars. So even though it might have been like forty million, really he has to pay oh, seven hundred and fifty thousand wow. dollars per per one. So it was like one point five million or something. Mm-hmm. But then the Connecticut one's not capped. The Connecticut one's different. Yeah, isn't it like a billion dollars? It's close to a billion dollars. Yeah, that's a pretty funny way to end a trial. Is he on a payment plan? Like, how's he? Who's the judge? I mean, Doctor Evil. <laughs> how can you <laughs> ever? <laughs> how can you ever come up with that number? That number's so crazy. The the number only exists if you're trying to just put someone out of business, like completely and forever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's still going, isn't he? Is he still going? Yeah, yeah but he's the, not going to be able to make a fucking billion, dude. This is impossible. So, but the other question is, yeah, like, true. if. If it goes back to trial, do they reduce them? Like, how does that work? Are you allowed to appeal? Like, how does that work? I would work? imagine you can appeal. I mean, it's probably pretty, I don't know. Who knows? I'm just like. This could go on forever and just bleed him financially. He should just get a pirate ship. Fees. He should go out to the seas. True. And mm. broadcast from the seas. He mm. should save up enough money to buy a boat. He should buy Epstein's Island. He should. It's for sale. What's going on with it? It's for sale. Nobody wants it? Do you want it? Uh, I can't what are you afford trying it? to say. You're trying to say you want it? Just open like a sandals. Yeah, open up I'll a sandals. Fucking dude. buy it. Open, yeah, open up. It's a waste you know of a good island. Ghosts would be floating around that island. Yeah, e. young hot ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Russian, <laughs> the best ghosts of all time. <laughs> You'd be chasing them like no, 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 no. Uh, come back, haunt me. They come in. <laughs> I'm lonely. I'm over here watching Avatar by yeah. myself. <laughs> Whoa, bespoke. That's no, it, dude. It. It's fifty-five million dollars. Bro, fifty-five. Scroll mil. back up so I can get an overhead again. Look at that. Mm. There's the temple. That's the temple. Can you imagine if I opened up a podcast studio where Epstein's Island used to be? I mean, just imagine. So where do they fly them in? They fly them in so somewhere else, and I then they have to yacht actually, it out there. He, uh, great, whatever it's called, the Big St. James has a uh, airstrip on it, and then they take a boat over. So, so he's got to go two islands. Actually, what's stopping you from so doing this? So this is yeah. like, uh, did you see the Glass Onion? Did you see that, Jamie? I did not watch the it. The Netflix, uh, no. it's a the new Knives Out. It's yeah. fun. It's good. But the dude is um, kind of like an Elon Musk character, and he o- he owns an island just like go. this. You fly into St. Thomas and take a private helicopter. It's amazing. Nobody wants that island. Do you know how many recording pieces of equipment you have? You have to tear down every oh. wall. Every wall's True. bugged. Yeah. Everything. There's probably every fucking picture. The eyes are filming you. <laughs> Yeah, shit. Great San I mean, I imagine you want to destroy, like, demolish everything anyway. So was... you have to land on that one little island that's a landing strip, and then from the, that's a helipad, it says. Mm-hmm. Is that a landing strip, too? I thought this one did, but it said you land in St. Thomas, so that might be oh. like further back here, and then you take Dude, a you could... boat or Did helicopter. they bulldoze the temple? No, and... that's not his island. That's not the same island. That's the island where you can land, so it's close oh, by. this is the island. This is That's his central. island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so uh... he has a helipad. Correct. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Have, I was confused. Or this picture was Or is taken. that uh, temple up there? I thought they were saying that this is the place where you can land. I'm like, where the fuck are you going to land on this little it. rock? Yeah. You think someone would demolish the temple? You should put your podcast studio in the temple, dude. Well, why would they demolish anything? I think if somebody, temple. if it's valuable, somebody might want it as is. There's a lot of nutty fucking people in the world. You True. know, if you're like some Saudi billionaire and you're, you're drinking whiskey and you're like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy that fucking island. Ah! <laughs> just like they bought the WWE. Just I'm gonna buy that fucking island. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna stick it in Clinton's face. <laughs> Look where I am. <laughs> do you recognize this room? You should. Yeah, I know what you're doing there. Yeah. I think Trump, people, Trump just, only hung out with the staff. I only went there 26 <laughs> times. 26 is a lot. 26 is not a lot of times. <laughs> That's incriminating. There's so many days in the year. Yeah, that was a, and that, no one talks about that yeah, anymore. Really that Clinton. was a that was it's a weird 26 one. times. You got a good Clinton. It's not bad. <laughs> I got to listen to him. If I listen to him, I can get it yeah. pretty good. What's he up to now? Not much. Hiding. Yeah. Yeah. He's the world's done, turned though. on him. Yeah, yeah, but he's also. Oh, yeah. He had some rough He's ones. old, bro. Hill well, dog old some He's not just old. He's old. He had heart problems. Then he got on a vegan diet. And the vegan diet is like, you know, you got to do that. You got to be real good with that. If you want to do that and be healthy. You have to really dot your I's and cross your T's mm-hmm. and make sure you get all your macronutrients and shit. And 
You got to take supplements. He just looks like this. You're in ketosis, uh, man. I was. I was. I had you a out of ketosis? So I started getting like like restless leg for my whole body. I did a week. Oh. It felt awesome. I felt great. Then like the last restless night. Restless leg felt great? No, no, I'm saying before that. I was like, oh. I got out of the keto flu and all of a sudden. I was sudden, like, maybe there's something to restless leg. No, I hate it. <laughs> but I never, I had it in my arms too. I was like a, like a dead bug. I was in my bed and I was just like kind of, I, I think it was an electrolyte thing. I looked it up. So I'm going to oh. try it again. I think I fucked up my electrolytes. Yeah, Dude, do you take an electrolyte supplement? Nah. You should. Everybody I was just should. Yeah, I, I so was, easy. Take this stuff called liquid IV. It's the shit. You dump it in water, it's shake yeah. it up. We got tastes, a lot of it. Tastes great. Yeah, I got to do that. Filled with vitamins and electrolytes. Like so many people are nu- deficient in certain nutrients, and so many f- people are dehydrated. Yeah. But it's so easy to be dehydrated. Like you really should be drinking water all the fucking time. Yeah. Yeah, I was, dude, I, I felt good, though. I didn't realize how different you feel. I didn't, oh, first yeah. of all, you don't need really to eat them. I was crushing carbs. Yeah. And I went down to, like, not eating any. I'm like, oh, I didn't know I didn't need that the whole yeah. my whole life. I've been primarily eating those. I think different people react different ways. I have a buddy that's been on keto now for, like, six months. He's lost 60 pounds. He looks fucking great. He said, I'm never going back again. Dana White is another one. Dana White lost, like, 40 pounds. And he's like, dude, I'm eating like this for the rest of my life. He goes, it, it was all just sugar and yeah. bullshit and carbs. And he was having all sorts of health problems. Mm-hmm. But my buddy looks fucking great. John Dudley. He looks great. He's, he's like thin now. Like I could hardly recognize him. He's six foot five and now he's 200 pounds. Oh, wow. I'm like that's crazy. He was like at one point in time, he's like 250, yeah. probably even, even higher. He's a big boy. And now he looks fucking lean and mean. He's like, my joints feel amazing. My energy levels are great. Yeah. If I just don't think it's for everybody. I don't think there's a one size fits all diet. Yeah. I know a lot of people that just go vegan and they're fine. And I know a lot of people that try it and their their body gets fucked up. I just think it's everybody's mm-hmm. different, man. You think that happened to Bill? Clinton. He looks like shit. Yeah. But I think yeah. it's also How guilt. old is he? He's a lot of guilt, fuck, right? Yeah. A lot of sleepless nights. It's a lot of a lot of thinking about all the shit he did. Yeah, imagine I the mean, internet coming out after you're like towards yeah. the end and that comes out and they're like, oh fuck. Yeah. Well not just that, but having to live with being the president and all the shit that you gave the fucking thumbs up to and all the people that died and all the countries that got invaded and all the fucking black ops that we don't know about and all, all the people that got assassinated and all the people that like, how about the Obama administration? How many people died from drone strikes that were innocent? <laughs> yeah. A lot. It was in the 90% range. Yeah, it was a lot. Of civilians, of innocent people that were died in these targeted surgical drone strikes. Ugh. Isn't that an amazing term you could use? Surgical? surgical for a missile with a bomb on the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're very precise. Ah. Surgical strikes. You missed it again. 